Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here, playing some more Warhammer combat cards, and in this one we're going to be taking a look at all of the cards that will be entering the game in the near future, which you can see over in the collection tab. They'll be in the grayed out section, of course, among the cards that you don't own. So starting with the most expensive and working our way down, first of all we've got Kairos Fate Weaver. So this is basically another Lord of Change, a little bit more expensive, it also has a Psionic Blast, and it has Psychic Scout, and it is a legendary, so it will unlock both of those traits pretty early on. And it gets plus 30 to the attack stats with each upgrade. At max level, it is a pretty monstrous Psychic Bodyguard. And in those 400 point events, you're going to be able to run this alongside the Lord of Change for some pretty crazy damage output. Next up, we've got this 49 point legendary Void Raven Bomber. It's a Drukhari aircraft. And it's got a powerful ranged attack with Barrage and Ranged Scout. So lots of burst damage on this one. And again, in those 400 point events, this is going to go very nicely with like the Crimson Hunter. Both of those are relatively inexpensive considering how much damage they can do. Next up, we've got two cards that are actually available in the shop right now for purchase. Uh, the first one is the Changeling, Trickster of Zinch. So... Uh, this one is kind of interesting. It's a Psyker, of course, but uh, it has Outflank as its main trait, which you don't see very much on Psychic cards. Uh, not really the greatest trait, honestly, uh, but it does have three Psychic damage upgrades early on, so you can power it up pretty quickly. Uh, it's a relatively low cost of 27 points, and it does unlock Fear at level 9, being an epic card. So at the max level, uh, this thing is actually quite good. And then for the Space Wolves, we've got Lucas the Trickster. Uh, this guy is going to combo really well with the Logan deck. He's got Deathblow for his main trait and Outflank for the secondary, and a pretty solid melee attack. And like the Changeling, he actually has three damage upgrades pretty early on, so he'll power up pretty quickly at a similar points cost of 27 points. Uh, this is a very strong one for the Tyranids. A 24 point epic Reductus Saboteur. Uh, this one has a strong ranged attack, and you can see lots of ranged damage upgrades early on. It's got Big Game Hunter for its main trade, but unlocks Barrage at level 9. So again, at the max level, this thing is going to be dealing crazy damage. Big Game Hunter and Barrage is one of the strongest combination of traits, especially with the 400-point game mode that'll be becoming a permanent feature in this game uh, in the near future. Uh, so yeah, this one's going to be quite strong, especially with uh, the Jackal Alphys boosting that uh, initial attack some crazy damage output. Uh, then we got this Custodian Guard uh, with shield, just a 21-point uh, rare card uh, with uh, solid ranged and melee attacks. I uh, really like the model though. And then getting to the, the cheaper bodyguards, it looks like we're going to have a Drukhari kill team. So we've got the Habalite Arch Sybarite. Nine points for a bodyguard that has a solid attack stats and inspiring presence and unlocks outflank at level 9. Nice looking model there. Now uh, for 8 points we get uh, another Kabbalite Heavy Gunner, this one has Precision Shot, those are the stats at max level. And then we've got a Crimson Duelist, this guy is a Berserker, 7 points but actually has pretty high starting health as you can see at the max level, 121 health for a 7 point card. Seems pretty good, although uh, Berserk is not really the greatest trait on a, a cheap card, generally speaking. Now we got the Sky Splinter Assassin. This one has target acquired and a stronger ranged attack. Nice looking model there as well. And last but not least for the new cards in this video, we have the Kabbalite Elixicant, which is a cheap Medicaid unit for the Eldari. So this will be the third bodyguard that the Eldari get with a Medicaid. And probably the best one because it's only five points and it has ranged and melee attacks, so very useful in a variety of decks. Kind of goofy looking head, but um, yeah, the rest of the model looks pretty cool at least. So there you have it. Uh, lots of new cards entering the game. I think just like within the space of like two months, that's like maybe 30 or more cards just suddenly entering the game. So we have quite a few. It uh, looks like well, 731 in the collection so far, and that's not including things like the Red Gabo and those limited edition cards. So. Now let me know which of the cards in, in this batch you are most excited about, and the ones that you think will be the most useful. But that's it for this one, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.